Arkansas, Georgia, Athens, noon kickoff, 18 and a half points over under at 48. Anyone got to play on the hogs and the dogs? I do. Kick us off. All right. I'm going to start here with a play on the total. I'm going under 48. I just I I see this game playing two ways. Either A, Georgia, which has been the number one team in offensive success rate and defensive success rate, is going to crush Arkansas and it's gonna be like a you know, thirty-eight kind of ten game, or it's gonna be close and Arkansas is gonna stick around. But if Arkansas is gonna stick around, it's probably because they're gonna be, you know squeezing the air out of the ball a little bit, trying to limit possessions as much as possible and playing good defense, which also will keep it under 48. I would very much prefer if it was at 49, obviously, but I, I still think this is going to be a lower scoring kind of not ugly game in that kind of Georgia Clemson sense, but I don't think it's going to be a very back and forth affair. What number did you get there, Tom? 48. You like that. Um, however, there are a couple 48 and a halfs out there. Oh, well, then I'm taking the 48 and a half. I, I, assume, I assume you like that a little bit better. I do. I like it a half a point better. <laughs> I'd still prefer it if it was 49, but I definitely like it a half a point better. Um, so I actually thought about something a little bit different here. I Man, should I join Tom on that? I, I'm actually going to go ahead and play just on Georgia's defense, right? I don't really know. Georgia's offense has played one really elite defense and then a bunch of ones that are kind of like at least below average. And I think Arkansas's defense is actually pretty good, but not maybe not like crazy elite. Um, go ahead and give me Arkansas team total under six and a half in the first half. I know that's not a great number, obviously, uh, but I, I, I do not think that Arkansas will hit those explosive plays against Georgia. I think Georgia's going to be able to sit in the too high for the most part and defend the Arkansas run game because they win so many battles up front. And, uh, you know, if this gets to be a blowout, I can see Arkansas scoring late. So go, I'm going to go ahead and attack the first half here. Anybody else getting? I okay. want to, but I, I got to use some discipline on this one. I have a feeling Georgia. A top I, 10 game. You guys are just going to ignore it. Come I know. On. I know. But I got oh, burned Danny, last week. Come on. I got burned last week taking some favorites. I think this is the week of the favorites. Like, I think they actually do have their revenge, but I'm still a little bit gun shy from what happened last week with uh, come on, the everybody else game. is doing it. Come on. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not touching. I think George is going to, I think they're going to boat race them, but I would actually, well, I'll be rooting for the opposite. Right. That's what, that's where I'm at. I am rooting for Arkansas to make this a game and for this to be really exciting and thrilling, but all the smart people and all the nihilists out here are like, no, this is where Georgia wins 42 to 10. Sorry. They are, as Tom mentioned, number one in the country in offensive su success rate and number one in the country in defensive success rate. And this is where the great story of Arkansas ends up getting exposed and they end up, you know, Maybe still being the second best team in the SEC West, but not in the same tier as the best teams in the SEC, of which Georgia certainly is one. So, rooting for Arkansas, but uh, too no too much to uh, to think that that is going to be a, a lock uh, for me. Slight correction: they're eleventh on offense, not first. Okay, so That's out of one hundred and thirty teams, that's yes. still pretty good. Yeah.